million people voted for us. We are a wonderful party. We are organising this leadership challenge because we love this party. We love it in an abstract sort of way. And I will say here, I love all the members, some of them in a very abstract sort of way, you understand. In a very, but I, in theory, I love the whole lot. Because we are a wonderful party. We are a wonderful party. Men and women who have campaigned for this party for years. Let me remind you that we are BMP members, and this is our BMP party, and I'm going to quote to you from our BMP constitution. This is the 12th edition. Um, there might be plans to bring out another edition of our constitution. I won't refer them to here at this moment, but in this edition, the current edition, in section 2, it states, and this is the sense in which we're meeting here this afternoon, I'm quoting to you, Section 2, our party is a democratic party. And I quote to you literally, our party, we the, me we the members, we the members exercise our inherent freedom of association. We exercise our inherent freedom of opinion, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. That's what we're doing here this afternoon. And I remind you that this uh, statement in our BMP constitution, what I've just read out to you, is, of course, mere statement of the obvious, our basic rights as, as, uh, as Britons. Uh, our legal status is that of uh, subjects of Her Majesty. Our legal right as Britons to free expression, to free assembly, to meet together, to discuss um, subjects of mutual interest, to focus on problems that are besetting us and how we in, would hope to deal with those problems. So, I've quoted the Constitution. Um, the whole purpose of this meeting, as you will know, is to launch a leadership le election, a leadership challenge, and that too is absolutely covered in Section 7 of our Constitution, page 36, elections to our party's leadership. So that is the basis of our meeting. Look, it's very important that we know these things, and it's very important that at every meeting I attend, I very, very deliberately wave the party constitution around, because I'm a member. And I'll tell you, if you think about it, although we all love Britain and join Britain because, because we love Britain, what we actually have together, what actually, hold, <laughs> what actually holds us together as BNB members is that we all comply with the letter and the spirit of this constitution. That's what we have in common, actually. That's the rule book which we agree, and I certainly agree, to stand by. I say all this for specific reasons, actually. These things should be spelt out. Um, there's going to be a leadership challenge this year, at least one challenge, and I am very happy uh, to announce that I'm the challenger. I'll say a few more words about myself a bit later on. Um, there's going to be a, a, at least one challenge, this challenge, because our party is in great danger, in great danger. Our party is in danger of collapsing, our, our party is in danger of being closed down, our party, is in, our party is in danger of being destroyed, our party is facing ruination. Well, as for the first question, the salvability, uh, we heard a report from Jeff Dickens here that the, 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 the debts are being wound down, but they're still in the mark of hundreds of thousands of pounds. If and when uh, our challenge is successful, we would, we would approach all the legitimate creditors, these printers and other firms, and, and carry on the good work that Jeff Dickens has initiated of, of saying, right, we will pay you back the money we owe you. We can't pay it back in a month, but we will work out a schedule and we will wind that debt down. A debt of honour, a debt of honour, and we're honourable people, we would do that. And, and I can, carrying on answering your question, Charles, um, I'll tell you this, it's not a secret, we don't shout about it, but I'll tell it to you. We, as for the legal implications of all this, as for the legal implications, we are seeking right now legal advice from a very competent firm of, of solicitors. Uh, we're seeking legal advice on quite what this constitution means, because it's not actually clear what it means, who is responsible for what, and I can tell you that this legal advice because citizens aren't, don't come cheap, it's going to cost us several thousand pounds. 
I can tell you that the, the money has been penciled in to pay for that. It's absolutely vital. I tell you, before we launch this leadership challenge, we want to know um, what labyrinth, what labyrinth of lies and mismanagement that we're entering into. Because it is, a, it is a, a labyrinth right out of Greek mythology. You don't know what monsters and minotaurs are around the corner. And we want to know. So we took legal advice. Um, uh, as for the last part of Charles' um, uh, question, what do we do if this fails? Listen, <laughs> I'm a very finite and mortal man. I'm certainly mortal, <laughs> no question. The agenda of this EGM is to go back what was turned down in 2008 at the EGM at the Red, White and Blue in 2008, then the new plan is to go back to having a chairman lasting four years, which to my mind is totally unacceptable. A party, the chairman, should be challengeable, as it says in here, on a yearly basis. In four years, the man or the woman could totally wreck a party. A year is long enough. This party constitution says the party chairman is liable to election every year. In the major parties, in the Labour Party, the Tory Party, the Lib Dems, their chairman or chair lady is, is liable to yearly challenge. And if you remember, if your memories go back, when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister of this country, she was challenged as party leader in one year, and the second year, she was successfully challenged as party leader, and she had, was sacked as chairman of the Tory party and had to stand down as Prime Minister of Great Britain. We've got wonderful members up and down the country. We've got a nationwide organisation up and down the country. That is worth fighting for. Sorry, I didn't mean to blaspheme. Um, it's worth fighting for. A million people voted for us. We are a wonderful party. We